Welcome to GibbsCam Tech Tips. My name is Michael Carter and today's topic will be importing machines for simulation. I think everyone can recognize the importance of getting an accurate machine simulation in their CAM product, especially for more complicated machines such as 5-axis or Swiss. But because of GibbsCam's universal kinematic machine, this is actually one of our biggest strengths. So when you receive your machine simulation from either GibbsCam or your reseller, it should come in a zip folder or some other kind of compressed package file. However, there are a couple easy steps you need to perform in order to get your machine simulation up and running in GibbsCam, but it's actually very easy and I'll show you how in just a couple minutes here. So this is an older version of GibbsCam here that I have my machine in and I wanna get it running in my new version here. So I'm gonna stop this and we're gonna switch over to my new version here. And um, this is just a splash screen. I haven't loaded in a part or anything like that. I'm going to open up my uh, file explorer here and just navigate to wherever you saved your package file, your zip file that you got from your reseller. And uh, I'm going to be loading in a Haas UMC 1000 in this case, the same machine you just saw um, prior. And all I have to do is click and drag this and drop it right onto the GibbsCam splash screen. And a post package extractor comes up here. It's called the post package extractor because uh, your machine typically comes from the post department and it works with your post um, to create that simulation. So all of these are actually the individual components of the machine. It's not an assembly. Uh, this allows us to you know, move an individual component without moving other pieces. So these are all the different pieces of our machine. You can see there's quite a lot to it. And you can just go ahead and hit OK. Uh, but in this circumstance, I'm going to show you open target location um, just to show you what it did here. So this is my GibbsCam install directory. And um, if I go into my machine sim folder here, we can see that it has taken uh, the Haas UMC 1000 folder and put it in here. And here's all the components that I was just talking about. In addition, it took some of the other things like the MDD, the machine definition document, and uh, it's also sorted that into your install directory. So it did all that automatically. This is uh, definitely the recommended procedure for how to do this here. So I'm going to close that out and hit OK here. So now we're ready to open a part and see our new machine. <clears throat> I have here a five axis impeller um, that I've previously programmed. And if I open my tools in CAM, you can see that I do indeed have a couple operations here. So the first step to doing this is we want to go to our document control box here. And th this is a list of all my MDDs that I have. And you can see that Haas UMC 1000 is in fact in here. So I'm going to select that as the machine that I'm using. And we, we have to make sure to match this to our simulation here. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, I want to use the machine simulation, not OpSim, because machine sim is the one uh, where we can actually render that kind of stuff. And it won't be loaded in by default. What you have to do is go to load machine here. And these are the four machines that I have. And I'm going to hit load machine. And it loads it in. It's pretty simple. Might have to rotate, get the right angle um, to see the front here. But... That's our machine. You can see it only took, you know, maybe a minute to actually get this in and working and running. And there's uh, one more thing I like to do before we actually simulate this. And um, one, one thing is turn on program error checking, and this will check your program for errors like the, the name denotes. Um, and then the other thing is collision checking, and you wanna make sure that that's on, and that's going to detect throughout the simulation if anything collides with anything else. And it doesn't have to be uh, the stock, it can be fixturing, it can be components of the machine, any solid model that you see here, if two things collide, it will let you know, okay? And then the last thing we have to do is right click on the, the bar here and go down to settings. And you can turn these on. I'd like to turn all four on, but basically what you're telling this to do is, hey, once I've found a collision, what do you want me to do about it? So I want it to beep, I want the stock to flash, uh, I want to display, and I want you to stop, okay? So now that that's done, we're ready to hit play and see what happens. And you can see pretty immediately 
uh, it did indeed find a crash and it tells you uh, which components are colliding. So we have the C axis hitting the spindle uh, in op one and then it gives you the XYZ coordinates of where that collision is happening. And you can see it also turns uh, the two components yellow and there's a nice little red dot there showing you where, where these collided. So um, as you can see, it only took about two minutes to actually get this set up and working um, with all the settings that I like and that kind of thing. So it's pretty easy. Ensuring that you have an accurate machine simulation is key to many kinds of advanced machining, as well as protecting the investments that you've made in your machines. In GibbsCam, it's easy to set up and use your machine using this method. If you haven't got one already and would like to get a virtual machine running, please reach out to your local GibbsCam reseller. Thank you.